Hi, my name is Creel Gonzalez. I'm the bass player of Modern Mafia and you're watching Rhythm Nation TV. When I was in school, we had a lot of uh, live events and uh, annual day and stuff and I had a lot of friends who would play guitar and keyboard or the piano and uh, I always watched them and I used to sing for, my, uh, for the church choir and uh, I always wanted to be part of the band so then I decided to like ask my parents one day, uh, you know, just tell them like I really want to learn an instrument and my dad was like, okay, cool, you could go learn a guitar and uh, he got me my first guitar. It started more off as like me trying to fill in a spot of a band, like my school band. So we had a, a lead guitarist, we had a rhythm guitarist, we had a singer, and then they were searching for a bass player and then they realized that, okay, I'm learning to play the guitar. So they asked me if I, could, I would play bass. And it seemed interesting and then I just picked it up and when I actually got down to playing it, it seemed a lot of fun. So I just was like, okay, that's my calling. When I was in college, I went for this uh, show called uh, Republic Rock Idols. And I saw this band and uh, one of the, my uh, very close friend, her uncle was the bass player of that band again and I saw what was happening and it just seemed like a power turf and he seemed like he was having so much of fun and I'm like okay I need to go there and I need to do that and uh, then eventually he, he met me and I got introduced to him and he told me like you know uh, okay I will give you an opportunity to play and then we set up a band and uh, we played at this place called the Raspberry Rhinoceros and uh, we were just 16 at that time and uh, we were the first 16 year olds to play at that venue, the history of that venue so it was for us it was a very big deal and we were really nervous as to how the crowd is going to respond to us so but when they when we actually got down and we played the show and we got a lot of good reviews and everyone was really fascinated that a bunch of kids are uh, formed a band and they pulled it off and at that moment I'm like, aha! So I got the reanimation CD and uh, I heard it and at that time it was the only CD I had and then a week later my uh, dad decided to get me another CD by Creed and uh, I heard and then I went on vacation and through that entire 20 day vacation, I heard the reanimation CD and the Creed CD on repeat. And uh, the more I heard it, the more, the more sounds I started paying attention to. And I was like, okay, I want to be a, a musician where I can do that one day. And that's what really got me going forward to being a musician. The first song I learned to perform was uh, the song called Vertigo by U2. It's, it's a wide spectrum, like there are days where I, I just feel angry and I need to listen to metal. Like I love new metal so I listen to a lot of it and then there are days where you know, I just want to chill, sit back and listen to some independent indie music like Death Cab for Cutie or uh, Bombay Bicycle Club and then there are days where I want to listen to some regular singing but really heavy music so that's when I, the whole tool and the a perfect circle influence comes into picture. No, I am the first musician of the family. It's quite recent actually, so there's this band called Taiko and I got introduced to them by a couple, a couple of friends and it really captivated me and then to my good luck they decided to come to Bombay and I heard that and I was 
like i was i've never been star struck in my life till i met taiko and i when i met the band i was just like i i didn't have words the first thing i said to them was you guys are gods and i just kept quiet and didn't say anything after that and a bunch of my friends just started laughing and they were like you've never ever been that silly and there you are but like that was my moment original music since i was about 18 or 19 like 18 or 19 like i i i wrote my first original song when i was playing for this uh, new metal band and uh, that was my composition and like the band pulled it off together it's mostly about the deep emotion like when i listen to music it's i'm it it might sound it might come to you by surprise but i'm not i don't pay that much of attention to lyrics but for me it's the music if the music music cap like if it if it captivates me then i am a fan of that band then whether the band writes crappy lyrics or they write the best lyrics in the world as long as their music is got me hooked on to it i will continue listening to that band when modern mafia started off uh, the first gig we ever did was uh, for this event called MTV F1 Rocks which was aired on national television on uh, MTV and it was uh, a competition where eight bands from all across india were selected and we had to compete to open for metallica and uh, that's uh, we got firstly we were really surprised because we were a band just starting up at that time and we got our music got selected and then we went up uh, on stage and we played our set and even though it was opening for metallica and we were a punk rock band so people we were scared of how people are going to accept us for this particular event but when the judges actually gave us like really good reviews they had nothing bad to say about our performance or our music and that's when i was like okay if they can do it and they they were really big people in the industry so i'm like if they think we are good enough then i can do this for a living the first time i performed live was when i was 16 at uh, raspberry rhinoceros and uh, I have I was clueless. I did not know how to stand up on stage, how to present myself. I was I went up on stage in short pants and a random black colored shirt because that was the thing. <music> Biggest fans are in Pune. Uh, we've played most of our shows in uh, like we've played enough shows in Bombay as well as in Pune and Pune the response that we've got from there we played for NH7 two years in a row and the response we got from uh, our fans in Pune were it was just ridiculous I guess making a living out of it and earning money because uh, everyone in India want to give you exposure and they believe that we are going to survive on exposure but it's not really true we need money to just like live our lives as well as make more music and uh, we need that kind of funding so the most important thing is getting money out of the whole music industry for me success is uh, it comes back home for me it's like my dad has always been this person who's uh pushed me no matter how great i'm doing he will always find a way to find a flaw and tell me no you need to fix this so the day my dad tells me like gives me a review without finding a flaw in it that's the day i feel i'll be successful i don't think i have achieved that kind of success as a music in in my music career yet i feel like i have a lot more to do but uh, again if i have to say i've been successful in music it was that time where we were on national television the first time in my life
make sure you're practicing constantly and uh, keep make sure that you have a strong will to keep going at it going at your passion because there will be a lot of hurdles and there will be a lot of people who will tell you that you can't do it but uh, no one can tell you wrong unless you think that it is wrong